Potomers, if you happen to glance at a tabloid recently, you've no doubt learned the name of Gary Bettman, apparently the commissioner of an ice hockey league whose bizarre kidnapping has dominated the news all week. Well, the story has taken an even stranger twist. Police are confirming that the kidnapping was a hoax staged by Bettman, apparently in an attempt to drum up publicity for his hockey TV program. Our own Melissa Wells has the latest. Wellsy, give it to me, to us. Give it. Guys, yeah. an unharmed Bettman confessed today that a widely circulated video showing his kidnapping was faked, shot at the headquarters for the ice hockey organization where he worked full time. We believe this is a case of a frightened and desperate man who felt he had run out of options. Mr. Bettman staked his entire financial future on the success of his uh, strange ice sport. We are currently uh, questioning Mr. Bettman's co-workers uh, at the National Hockey Show. The fake hostage video purported to show Bettman being held by NFL players who feared hockey was becoming so popular it would soon surpass football. Hockey needs to be stopped. It's way too exciting. The puck is too easy to see on TV. We will not sit idle while Americans watch hockey's end to end action. The kidnappers have been identified as Brendan Morrow, Henrik Talinder, and Ryan Miller, players in Bettman's Hockey League, whom he agreed to pay $800 each for their role in the hoax. But when Talinder demanded an additional $300 to remain quiet, Bettman admitted he could not pay it and came forward to police. The crew now could face charges ranging from false reports to conspiracy, which could take them out for the entire hockey playing season, whenever that may be. Alex? Weird, sad story, Melissa. Hope you're not too scared. Nope, I'm good. Good, don't be. You're safe here.